Woburn. Just off the M1, between Luton and Milton Keynes. Woburn Abbey and the Safari Park are just down the road. The church was built between 1865 and 1868 for the 8th Duke of Bedford. It replaced an older church, parts of which can still be seen in the village. Clatton, the architect, had designed a cathedral for Lille in northern France, which, in the event, was never built. And some people think this design may be reflected, somewhat, in this building. When first built, the tower was topped with a large spire, something like, I imagine, the church at Leighton Buzzard. But this had to be taken down in 1890, for safety reasons. The building no doubt looked more stately with its spire, rather than, as some say, squat. But look who we've got on top of the tower today keeping an eye open for business. I am indebted to this website, which tells me that the interior of the church also shows all the marks of a French cathedral, in its lofty lines, slender pillars and single vaulted roof. The long sweep of the church and the flight of steps to the chancel and high altar, leads us to the gilded wooden rear dos. This was installed in 1903. It was designed by W. D. Corot and made in Oberammergau. The altar hanging or dorsal is a more recent introduction. It is a panel of woven and embroidered silk made by Jill Thompson and others and presented in 2003 in memory of Hugh Paddock, the film and television actor. The organ is by Norman and Beard, 1904. At the eastern end of the south aisle, there is this stained glass window. It depicts St. Francis of Assisi, standing among the birds and flowers of the Woburn Abbey estate. It commemorates the life of Mary, Duchess of Bedford from 1865 to 1937. Mary built and ran a cottage hospital at Maryland, in Woburn, where wounded soldiers were treated in the First World War. Though certainly an active, well-supported parish church, it is apparent that the estate, at Woburn Abbey, also gives support, and, I believe, look after all external maintenance. 